the virtual classes last week. But I haven't seen her since. Um, Hi, Ava. You're on mute, Ava. Uh, I can see if I can. Hold on. There you are. Oh, you hear us now. All right, so we have wrestler brothers, right? We have one wrestler brother. The other was scared away because he bonked his head on the ground last time. Mm. And he's a wrestler? I know. I was confused too. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, you're amazing. <laughs> this is why I like you so much, Ava. You have a subtle way of talking trash. <laughs> we have to make you very good at just strangling people so you can back it up. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys, really quick. So, Ava, um, today we're going to be focusing on the lesson plan. I think it's three. No, excuse me. One point, uh, 1 1.2. Yeah. Say Wednesday, Thursday. Ah, I don't remember. We're we're gonna be looking at uh, defending. It's actually three, one point three. Sorry, we're gonna be looking at defending the rear naked choke, right? And so how to uh, defend it? We got a couple of drills that are gonna be fairly easy drills. We'll be going back and forth on, and then the last one will actually be one coming up on the single leg, so it should be kind of cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started really quick. Oh, that's nice. Hey, everyone, really quick. This is for folks you haven't met yet. Really fast. This is uh, Maria Elena right over here. It's actually her birthday today, and her son Ash right over here. <laughs> That is Ava and her family right there, and the dog. I'm not even sure what the dog's name is, but it is what it is. All right, guys, feet together, hands at your side, and bow. All right, we're going to get a quick warm-up in. We might be moving a little bit slow because we had some chocolate cake. Yeah, that happened. All right, All right jogging in place, guys. Let's go. Jogging in place, jogging in place, jogging in place. Especially if Coach Mike Seema is going slower. My God. <laughs> He's tired. He's old, man. He's old. Too. <laughs> <laughs> He's still here. 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 He's Oh, high knees, high knees. So we want that stomach nice and tight, right? Ideally, the knees are coming up waist high, and you're actually leaning slightly forward, right? So you're kind of crunching forward. Try not to arch your lower back. It's not good for your lower back. We've got about 15 seconds before we go heels to our bottom, also known as butt kickers. Where are the rest of the team? I don't know what kickers guys heels to your bottom go 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 point those knees to the ground pull those heels to the bottom let's go let's go oh you see it even Eric saw it bigger little little while ago our crew Look, we're going to be doing some shuffling, guys. They're going to turn towards the camera and shuffle towards you, for one direction, for the other. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Just don't uh, run into each other. Because, like, half an hour ago, I watched the Maverick Chase Jr. on the property. Stopped after about 15 minutes. Anthony Warren's was like. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, my God, I'm slowing down. I talked to Katie Vick to her. I chopped that cake is good to Maria. She's like, oh, this is not good. And turn and face the other direction. Same thing. Let's go, guys. Same thing. Other way. Looking good. Come on, Miss Ava. Good. You got about 12 more seconds, guys. Then we're going to go to sit outs, right? We're going to go to sit outs. You can do them off your elbows and your knees or your hands and your knees. Just depends. Two, one, and let's go. Sit outs, guys. Sit outs. Go, 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 go. Awesome. Ava, you look like a cat burglar in your outfit. Nice. That's a, that's a good thing, right? Yes, you're like straight up ninja. Although your brother's kicking your tail right now. He's outworking you. I got to tell you, he's outworking you. That's it, that's it. Don't let Ava be a slacker. 
Oh my gosh. Good, standing up with a good posture. Let's go guys, go, go, go. You got an easy version and you got a more advanced version. You can do whichever one you want, it's all good. It's all good. Ah, much better, Ash, good job, yes? And then, yes sir, there it is, good. Yep, and allow your front foot to pivot a little bit as well. Yep, so, so when you come up, go ahead and do it again. Good, there you go. Yes, there you go. That way you don't um, hurt your ankle or knee. You're young, your body still works really well. <laughs> Good, rolling up over the leg, guys. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> That's all right. There you go. Good, good, good. Keep it up, guys. Eight seconds, eight seconds, and then we're going to go to back ball, standing up in base. Probably the most important of all the drills you can use for self-defense in jiu-jitsu. Good, back fall, keep the chin tucked to your chest and stand up with a good bait. There you go, good, good, good. Protect that face when you stand up, protect that face. We want it to be something that more than just mom loves. Come on guys, <laughs> let's go. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna go to side falls now, guys, go. When you're on your left side, slap with your left hand. When you're on your right, slap with your right. Let's go, guys. Very good, very good. Good job, Miss Eva. Good. Stepping over to replace your bait, or excuse me, guard, sorry. Stepping over to replace your guard. If you're not sure how to do it, watch Maxime. He does it yeah. better now. At Ava's house, you can watch Ava. Ava's pretty good at this. Pardon? Oh, you did. You need to move back into frame, my man. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. You like that ninja over there. Good, straight bridges guys, straight bridges. Protect your neck, elbows by your ribs, lift those hips nice and high, and then repeat. There you go, good. The idea of a bridge, guys, remember, is that it's an explosive movement that ideally is going to project the person on top of you in a mounted position off, right? So it needs to be a forceful projection. Eight seconds, let's go. Some of you guys are not bridging hard enough to knock off a four-year-old. Come on, guys. Now bridge over your shoulder to turtle. Let's go guys, go, go, go. Maxine is getting tired, oh my goodness. Must take a nap. Oh. You notice that I get eight and then left. Anybody else notice that? Anybody else notice that? Like wait a second. <laughs> there you go, there you go, good. All right, guys, let's get 10 good burpees and then grab some water and we'll be back. Let's go, 10 good burpees. Come on, guys, just because you're amazing and because we had chocolate cake. <laughs> I'm just that was a, that was a slack. Sure yeah. Oh, man, you're doing a good burpee. You're just going to do a deep burpee. It's over your head, Maxie. You're so tall. Jump up. Jump up. Yes, Maxie. You look like this, my friend. <laughs> Look like a bunny. After you get done, you're done with your tan, grab some water, guys. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Why? Work on this that day. <sighs> Helps me stay at a fairly consistent rate. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to be doing, guys. We're going to be starting off with a couple of basic drills. So let me uh, swap this really fast, guys, so you guys can see me a little bit better. All right, so what we're going to be doing is going to be working back defense drills, guys. Um, actually, actually, I have to do that. Um, I'm going to have Coach Maxime run the camera, guys, so you guys can see that uh, everything a little bit better. But we're going to start right here, guys, right now with a very simple drill, right? And so we're going to uh, practice two drills today. One, two of the drills are going to have us going to this side, right? The correct side, ideally for us, those of us that are in this position to escape cleaner. And then two drills are going to take us this way, ideally that um, getting us better at escaping uh, the side that's good for him to strangle us, right? So first things first, guys. When we start, we don't want to start in this situation, right? We're going to practice a recognition drill. So if I'm sitting right here, the second his hands come over, right, I want to be moving. Does that make sense? And that's all I'm going to do, right? My goal right now is whichever side comes in, right? So when he goes ahead and he hugs, good. See how this hand came here? I don't fall this way. Remember, I always want to fall to the open shoulder. So my goal is that as soon, go ahead, as soon as I'm falling, does that make sense? Right now, I don't even care about your grips right now. All I want you to do is fall right, fall left. You're going to do this a minute. It's super easy, right? The only thing you don't want to do in this drill, like I said, is if Ash comes in, right, I don't want to go, oh, this way, because this would be bad. This is this is the side he wants me to fall to so he can strangle me, and then, you know, Facebook and Instagram and whatever. You know? yeah. All right, guys, so with a partner, we're going to do this one minute each, right? So you're just partner on the back. You're just going to nice and easy. Nice and easy, person on the front, you're gonna fall away from the uh, choke. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Let's go, guys. Super simple, guys. Super simple. Let's check it out, Miss Ava. All right, Miss Ava, let's see. Wait, that was the one. There you go, good. Yeah, and right now, Ava, if you want to, you don't even have to grab. I mean, it's a good idea. You already know how to grab. That's good. But just make it as smooth as you can. As soon as those little arms come around you, boom, gone. Let's go. Boom. Good job, young lady. Oh, you're Good job at tricking Ava. That was awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad I got to see it. <laughs> Ava's like, I'm going to strangle you later. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and switch it because I never started the clock for the other guy. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. You ready? Other person's turn. Let's go. Other person's turn. She's going to get you. You know this. Ava's going to get you. You got to trick him at least once, Ava. You got one minute. Oh, almost. You almost had him. There you go. Now, in this case, you won't want to roll all the way to your stomach, okay? So just get to your side. Don't roll to your stomach because she'll still be on your back. Ava, don't let him roll all the way to his stomach, only his side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Very nice. Time to sit down. She's like, oh. 25 seconds. Nice. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'll pretend like I didn't see that. Awesome, awesome. How are we doing over here? We will wobble. We will wobble. I like it. I like it. We got about. Oh, there it is. Time. All right, guys. So now it's a fairly simple drill, but we're going to add another piece to it, right? Because this is going to be super important, right? So this next piece of the drill. Check this out. I want to be able to go to the correct side, but there's a couple other things that we need to kind of address, right? And this is gonna be a super important thing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time here to show you the hand placement, right? And then the other thing. So when Ash brings his hands in like this, guys, this is super important, right? When his arm is over the top, guys, this, not bad. Not bad, not great, right? This would be better if it was on the outside, right? Because this just pulls his elbow down here onto me. This helps pull the elbow off my shoulder, which, makes it harder for him to choke me. This though, guys, is not a good idea. You see how my hand is just like this? This is not a good idea. I see people try to do this all the time. Usually they start doing this because the hand got to here already and they're doing this. When the reality of the matter is, even if he was hugging my shoulder, I would come up like this. I wanna bring his hand down. So when he takes this grip, take a grip, sir, I'm gonna grab the wrist like this, elbow's gonna pinch, 
and I'm going to grab here. This pinch makes it just a little bit harder for him to pull his arm out. Now, I'm still going to fold the correct way, but now I'm going to add something. Check this out. When I get right here, guys, I am going to use my legs to push me in an upward direction as I corkscrew so that I can be looking up at the ceiling. In other words, I'm going to flatten my back to the ground. So look what I'm going to do. Now that I'm here on top of him, guys, this makes it really, really hard. Now, if he opens his guard, great, I just escaped. Does that make sense? But right now, we're just going to fall to that side, hoping to make our grips correct, right? So he comes here, look, one, two, I start to fall to this side, and then look, I'm pushing up as I corkscrew, right? Okay, the guard right there, perfect. You see, the great part about this is, Ash will tell you, I'm laying on his arm. His arm's not coming out easy. Does that make sense? Right? He's stuck. And that's good because that's going to help me uh, towards the end of the class. All right? So one more time just so you can see this, guys. Right? So again, arm is coming in. And the only thing we're adding, right, in the initial part is the control of the wrist, the control of my grip here. Now, what if you can't open up your shoulder and grab that high? Just grab as high as you can, guys. That's okay. Right? This elbow should always be pinched, though. I'm falling to the side that I normally do. I push up as I corkscrew. My goal is to get my head at least as high as his, if not higher, with my back flat to the ground. You'll notice that it has a pinning effect on your partner, okay? Super cool drill, guys. We're gonna do this a couple times, one minute, one minute, and then one minute, one minute again. It's that important. All right, guys, any questions at home, guys? I think we're good. Fantastic, on three, one, two, three. Oh, get it. All right, I'm gonna set the timer this time so we actually, do it directly. Let's go, guys. One minute. One minute. The champion of all champions, Ava. There you go. Master of the universe, Ava. Let's go. Yes, Ava. Yes, Ava. Yes, Ava. Very good. Good job. Can I see you do it the other direction, young lady? What? Can I see you go the other way? I love it. Looks good. Looks good. Yep, that's it. <coughs> now, Ava, you can also, because you already know this, you can also slide your elbow in. Does that make sense? Just slide that elbow in. Yep. Switch on your end, but uh, guys, right, so, so this is good. This in here, this is great. Yes, right there. Now we fall here. Good. Now I'm starting to push the rest of the push. Yes, there you go. Come on, hold on, your guard. Okay, just come out. No worries, good. All right, switch up. I'm going to do this now. Okay, let's go. Now I'm going to go like this. Were you guys switching already? Oh, my bad, my bad. Go on, go And just take your time with it. Be relaxed. Or as they say, tranquilo, tranquilo. <laughs> Boom. Yes, defend. Yes, very good. Fall. Oh, oh man, you almost <laughs> fell to the choking side. Good. <laughs> Not bad. Good, good, good. All right. Got about three seconds left, guys. All right, now time for just a second, guys. This is one thing really quick. I already mentioned it to Ava. Ava already knows this drill, kind of. But uh, for those of you guys that don't know it, let me switch the view again really fast. For those of you guys that don't know it, one of the things that's really, really important there at the end, right, especially if my partner is someone glued to my body, right, is where my arm goes at the end. So this is super important, right? I grab this hand. Controlling the wrist is the number one most important thing. So wrist control, elbow down, pinch. Grab here, I start to turn. Look, I'm already turning because I'm falling, and I'm coming this way. Now, here's the big kicker, right? Now that I'm here, this arm is no longer needed, right? Because I'm already turned. He can't strangle me from this end, right? He'd have to recapture my back. So look what I'm gonna do with this hand. I'm just gonna bring my arm right here, right in front. Now, even if he was strong enough to pull me to the other side, can you pull me up to the other side, by the way? Yeah, go ahead, anytime. <laughs> yes, I know he can. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because I'm framing. Now, what if he was a massive Hulk like Coach Maxine? 
you probably just throw me over, right? But because my arm is framed, it'll slide through and I'll have position, right? So in this next minute repetition that we're gonna do, look, I'll do the same thing on the other side. One, two, I start, look, I'm already turning. Ah, here we go, right? Yes, thank you. Now I don't need the top arm, so look, I just put it right here. Just right here. Now the beauty of it is, is that he needs his hand to come up to mount. He can't come up as long as I control this. And as long as this is framing here, he would have to open up his legs to try to come up. And when he does, I'm going to exit. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, sir. Excellent. All right, guys, so you're going to add that one little detail. Make sure you maintain that wrist grip Boop. and frame with that top side arm. All right, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we're going to watch Miss Ava. Good, Ava. Yep, and then get that. Yes, Ava. Good. Now, Ava, don't worry about escaping the legs completely. Even if he still keeps his guard around you, no worries. We're going to be good, okay? So right now for the drill, you don't have to worry about forcing his legs open. Okay. Let's see, you see this again? I mean, I, I, I did this exit, but this is because ah. usually I'm doing one, I'm doing uh, one leg, I'm going to keep. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm going to do this one. This one actually is bigger guys in the class that are going to do this one. Almost, almost, but that was more push on elbow, elbow. There you go, there. You're right at you. Good. Switch if you haven't switched already, please. So, right there. So, see how you're still pushing with that arm close to you? So, we need to adjust the forearm. Remember how we pushed in that last pass for the frame? Just hit the same frame. The exact same frame. It's like you're trying to be cool, but the leg is too low. You're like, <laughs> you know, like, 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 oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be like, a couple of shorts. <laughs> 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 Put it right there, right? So, my dad, I'm going to see if you can get hurt for a second. This is where the arm would just release. See? You would frame on across your head. Now, you need to be more square, though. You're not four screwed enough. Yes. You need to be just like this. Good. All right, guys. So, how do we do at home? Pretty good, Ava? Yeah? Awesome. All right. So, we're going to move on to now the worst case scenario. <laughs> I get pulled over to the side I did not want to be on, right? So, that's where we're going to go to now. All right. So now Ava, really actually let me turn this down so I can get a, make sure that I'm actually seeing you guys better as well. All right, guys. So so now Ava, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at Worst case scenario, right? He puts his arms in, crud. I still want this defense, right? But now, what's the problem? The problem is he pulled me to the correct side. So, this is super important. Ava, I think I already showed you this drill. Um, and, and actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna show it to you like this. Oh, freeze, go back and do that one more time. This is a no-no, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't, do that again, show them. This is good, just in case they don't know. This right here, it's okay to cross your legs on somebody if you're, they're on the side, they're on the side, or they're behind. It's never a good idea here because later on these guys are going to do nasty things to your ankles. So you don't want that to happen. But look what I'm going to do here, guys. I'm going to stay nice and tight to act. Keep that guard closed for me, sir, as, as much as you can. There you go. Excuse me. There you go. Look, I'm pushing up into it. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. And then I just walk sideways. And when I get to this side, what do I do? I do the same thing I did in the last row. I course through a little bit and I frame. You see how my elbow is right in front of his hip? It's almost like in front of his belt like this. 
All right, so watch. We're gonna do it again from a different angle so you can see this, right? All I'm doing is I'm transitioning over his body. Actually, Maria Elena, will you do me a big favor, ma'am? You see that balance ball over there? Will you bring it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this drill again, guys. Uh, one more time after I do this with Ash on a ball. This ball drill that I do is gonna change your ability to escape and change sides. You're gonna love this drill. Check this out. So again, look what Ash did. Man, he's so good. He pulls me over to this side. Oh my goodness, what do I have to do? I have to get to the other side before he strangles me. So look, I turn my body, I push up and throw, hey Ash, how you doing? I come over to this side. I scorch throughout, boom, I have my frame. Thank you, Ash. Now, I'm gonna show you this drill. I love, if you have any of these at home, guys, this is about to game change your ability to change sides from back to back. So, most of you guys know, I love working with the kids, right? And so one of the drills that I had to teach them was this same drill. They have a little bit of pressure here. The ball is the person that's pulling me to the correct side. So here's what you're gonna do with this ball. Look, if I start to fall to my side like this, I'm gonna fall to my side. Watch, I'm gonna do this on purpose. It's not gonna work. Person gonna give me, does that make sense? So what do I have to do? To stay on the ball and get to the other side, I have to square myself up. That's what I love about this ball. It teaches you that as soon as you're here, oops, let me get some pressure. As soon as I start going this way, then I'm already supposed to be turning. Does that make sense? If somebody's on your back, you're gonna pretend like it's this ball. I'm already turning, why? So I can stay on the ball, and then look, I squat sideways. And then I just put my elbow in. That's it, that's what I'm doing, right? If I'm going the other way, let's say he's pulling me this way. He wants me on my side, I don't wanna be on my side. He starts pulling me immediately. I already turn, I square up. The second I square up, the person on back is already losing the choke. So now what do I do? I just walk it over to the other side. I wanna walk as far as I can, and then insert my frame. Very simple. All right, guys, this, you get bored, got nothing else to do. Do that drill, keep your hips high. Your tummy is gonna love you. So I said, it's gonna look so beautiful, but your jujitsu is gonna love you more because it's gonna be harder for them to strangle you. Does that make sense? So one more time with Ash, just so you guys can see this, Ash, please. So look at this. We'll do it actually from the back angle this time. Look at this, we're right here. Ash grabs me, oh my gosh. Oh, just like that ball, oh, I don't wanna be there. Right, and then here we go. It's the same as your elbow. It's crazy. All right, thank you, guys. Guys, all right, this one, we're gonna go a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute. Try not to crush your partner, right? Blech, right, especially if they had, I don't know, legumes for dinner. Uh, it might be a smelly situation. All right, one, two, three, let's go, guys. Maxime, you've seen this drill before, Maxime? No, sir. Oh my gosh, Maxime. I'm Just drill over the ball, oh my god. It will change your ability to do this. Yep, good. Now, she's going to keep her legs tight to you, hips up, and just like you're push over onto her body all the way across. Oh, that was not bad. Oh, keep walking, keep walking sideways. Yes. Now, push through like we did in the last throw, elbow down. Ah, good, good again. Mom's like, oh my god, it's feeling. Keep going, guys, a few more seconds. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a good drill. I know, man. Come on, I'm a 48 year old fat man. You can do this. Oh, my goodness. And switch. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I got to help Maxine. <laughs>
Yeah, okay. Alright, switch one more time, guys. Switch one more time if you haven't already. This should be the third time. Third minute. Let's go, guys. <laughs> What's all that noise over there, Ava? <laughs> Good, nice, right there. Get that right elbow framed across Ava's hip next time. Right forearm, Ava. Make sure he frames on your hip, okay? Holy smokes. Mom's loving it. I'm so glad I saved your tooth back. Looks like she's going to have great abs eventually. <laughs> there you go, guys. Last minute. Let's go. Last minute. Hurry. I don't know where you're out on your switches, but just keep it up. Keep it going. Keep it rocking. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Yep, good. Yes, nice. Your elbow is so long. And now you want to press the more realistic. Sit in front of the ball, right? Sit in front of the ball. A little bit of tension. A little bit of tension. Now, whatever side you fall to, that's the side that they just pulled you to. Does that make sense? Yeah. So pretend you didn't have that. Boom. Now, quick, it goes, oh, 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 See, but you have to have enough tension that you don't lose it, right? Okay. So this is teaching. As soon as you start to get pulled back, what should you be doing? Already be putting tension and turning, mm -hmm. right? So you start to go one direction, tension, turn, go, go, hips up, hips up, good, go. Yes! Boom, oh, that's it. That's oh, what the yeah. is supposed to teach you. Good. Anybody who's on their back, the second they start to move you, going up. All right, guys, time, 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 time. All right, so now here's the beauty of it all. We're going to put this bad boy together. Huh. All right, so what did we have, guys? Let me just do a quick recap for you. So we had two drills, right, where we fell to, quote, unquote, our good side, right, the side where I'm not going to get uh, strangled on, right? So I fell first to that side, just wanted to make sure I understood the side. And then in the next drill, what we did is we emphasized making sure we knew where the hands were, right? So I'm on my hands. Okay, good. I know what to do. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to corkscrew, right? But then we looked at, well, crud, what if you fall to the other side? What do you do then? Well, you can just walk it over. Does that make sense? Yes. But what we haven't looked at as of yet is this last little piece that I'm going to show you. And then we're going to tie in how we're going to come up on the single leg. Actually, let me show you on the ball first, and then I'm going to show you on abs. It's just going to be super important. So on this one, guys, I'm going to have you focus on my head. My head. Right? So again, I'm going to pretend like this ball is ash. Right? Ash is pulling me over. I'm going to do it to the same side. A lot of times what happens is this. The arm comes over, people are like this, and, they, and they, they try to do this. You see, they tuck their head down like this, right? And then the other guy, if he or she is doing this correctly, they're adding head pressure too. So you're being pulled over here like this, and you're doing this. This is not what I'm trying to do. I don't want my head anywhere near the choking arm. Does that make sense? So what do I know I have to do? I know i got to get my hips up. Oh, look, my balance just shifted onto the body, onto the ball. Look what else I have to do. I have to move my head over, and then I come over to this side. Does that make sense? So that's going to be a huge piece of it, right? It's just the head movement, right? I got to get my head, right, on the other side of the person's head because this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to be coming in like this to do this, right? And then they're going to come here. Your head is right here. This is usually what some schools teach, the head push like this. Some teach it like this. We don't do a head push, right? So you got to get your head from here, the choking side, to the clear side. Right, so again, if I'm here, this is the ball, it starts to pull me over, holy smokes, I'm here, I'm defending, head over, it's up and over, boom. Does that make sense? And look, if I walk this way, it's easy. See how I corkscrewed up? Boom, I'm like this. But again, just like the drill says, guys, look, my hips are up. If I turn my hips sideways, this is bad, this is not good. I don't want to be on my side, right? When I get to the other side, I'm here, I'm framing, okay? Now, with Ash, so you guys can see this, same thing. Ash is on me. Boom. Oh my God, look. He's here. He pulls me over. Look at my head. See? Immediately, what? All the way up to over. I corner through. And now I'm here. Okay? But I took my head literally from one side all the way to the other side. That's my hope. That's my goal. Right? So 
Uh, you're gonna have that stork neck. All right, let's give it a go, guys. On three, one, two, three. Get it, guys. All right, we're gonna do this for a couple minutes, switching on the minute. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me check out the Ava household. Ooh, a beautiful shot of a gorgeous Brindle dog. There you go, Brindle. Boom, bam, yes, Ava! Yeah. Beautiful, good job, young lady, that was exactly right. All right, let's watch this next round. All right, let's see how this goes. You can do it. There you go, good, good, good. I think the head went over, is the head going? Yes, good, 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 yes, 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 yes. Nice, so very good. To get even better at it, remember, head over to the other side, kiddo, then hips up. If you can take the head over, then the hips up next, it'll shift your weight onto Ava's chest and upper body, and it'll force her to support your weight, okay? So head over, hips up. That'll make all the difference in the world. Let's go, guys. Thank you. Head over, hips up. There you go. Switch if you haven't switched already. Switch if you haven't switched already. Yes. So this head. Your head has to go literally from here to here, right? So when I'm here like this, uh -huh. move your head now, right now. Yes, you got the chest. I'm all the way. I'm going to be trying to do this, right? So you're pushing, yes, yeah. excuse me. Every time you have this, come on. Yeah, there you go. But you're also here. Right, and take them off the right side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when I was done about that, hit the seat concept? Yeah. See so what you just did? That's nice. Which again, if you haven't already, we got two minutes left, guys. Two minutes left. Get your drills in. Very nice. Good. Three seconds a second, Mariana. Come back, please. Come back. Let's fix your, let's fix your, um, your defense. Come back up, guys, please. So this hand up here was good. It's the other hand. It's always two on one. So here, this, yes, it's the wrist that's going to get you in trouble. We always want two on one. Okay, so now he pulls you to that side, right? Immediately change your head, hips up. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Keep going. Coach through, coach through. Back, back, coach through. Don't push. Remember, you don't need to push. What's stronger, your leg or your hand? Always. Okay. Just coach through and let your legs work. That way your arm can be used to frame. I mean, don't get me wrong, what you did will work. I just wanted to work at a higher level, right? So when you start rolling with other blue girls or new purple belt girls, Boom, you're like, whatever, chick. You know, you're out. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Good. Last minute, guys. Last minute. Let's go. Final reps. Yeah. Final reps in this last minute. Be sure to breathe. Move that hand over to this side. There you go. Forward through, forward through, back side. Yes. My hand. That was very good. Very good. 40 seconds. See, now you can just jack with the blue belts. Just let them take your back and go. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, how did you do that? Go, oh, me. oh, I came to class. Oh, I'm right there. Where is <laughs> 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Uh, all right there's only one last thing to do that is to take their single leg out from them and uh come up that's it that's all that's left to do so check this out guys where's my partner oh there he is all right fantastic guys so check this out so ash is up to his old evil waist on my back trying to strangle me ah pulls me over to this side right so check this out yes look i start to turn me look i'm pushing up i'm coming over look i'm right here now, this is important. Look, I do not let go of this wrist. I'm corkscrewing and I'm here. He's in trouble now. He cannot come up, right? But because I'm corkscrewing, look, his legs are going to start to pop. The second they pop, they're 
There's only one thing he can do. He can try to come up. When he does, look. Boom, boom, I'm up. The second his legs pop open, boom, I scoop. I take it. I'm on a single. Let's watch it again from a different angle. Yes, good. So look, we're over here. Head over. I come over. Look, I'm already walking. I'm already corkscrewing. I hold on to this hand. He's in trouble. I don't even have to do anything right now. Because to come up for him to score, he has to open his legs. When his legs open, look what I do. I take my top leg. I scoop. This arm, guys, is still here. I'm going to get rid of this arm. I'm going to start to turn. He's going to start to turn, too. Oh, don't turn on your back. Come up onto your knees. Yes. Good. Face me. Face me. Face me. Yes. This is what normal people are going to come up to in the match. If he lays down, great. Not only will I be able to pass, it's going to be great for me. He has to come up to his knees, try to overhook my arm so that I don't get any points on him. Does that make sense, guys? So super, super important, guys, that you understand this concept really quick, all right? So I'm gonna do this one more time really quick, guys. This time I'm gonna do it with Coach really fast because Coach knows the movement a little bit easier. Coach, can I borrow you, please? Yep. So we're gonna stay in this area. Thank you, Ash. So look, I'm gonna be on Coach's back so you guys can see the, the, the two feeds. Coach is gonna do the same movement we've just been doing. Illustrate this angle like this, Coach. Good. So look, guys, same thing, same side. I'm here, he defends, I'm pulling him over. He moves the head over, gets his body over. Look, right here, he starts to come up. You see how my leg is here? He's gonna hook it, start to move away. He's gonna come up, I'm gonna come up. The second he comes up onto his knees. Go ahead and move up, yes. Look, I'm right here, the best I can do is overhook. He's up on the single. Now, here's the best part. All he has to do is take this in his hand, reach over for my knee, and collapse me. Boom, and he passes. Super simple, one more time. From a slightly different angle. I grip, ah, he defends. I pull him over to the side, he changes his head. He comes all the way over. He's corkscrewing, he's escaping. Look, he's framing, he comes up. Boom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wizard because I don't want him to just take my back. If I do this, he takes my back, right? This is bad for me. If I just stay down, he passes. This is bad for me. I have to come up. I have to, and I have to throw the wizard. He doesn't care. He's gonna reach over, grab that knee. He's gonna collapse my knee, and he's gonna pass. All day, every day. It's the CTA way, baby. All right, any questions, guys? Um, could you just as easily go to mount, or would that? Now, that's a great question. You could <laughs> ideally, you mean the top guy, the, the guy that's coming uh, up on the single? Okay, so the guy coming up on the single, usually here's what, what's gonna happen. Watch my legs when he comes over to the other side. Most people, to come up to the mount, me, like in my case, if I'm going to try to come up to the mount and salvage the position, I have to get my leg to the other side of the hip, right? Most guys, most people open the guard when they start to feel the pressure of the corkscrew because it's uncomfortable on the body, right? Then they'll hook the inside leg. Because they hook the inside leg, that makes it easy for you to hook back and slide your hip out. So watch what I mean. One more time, check this out. There you go. So right here, look, we're just gonna have him fall to the correct side. So he's here, right? So he's already gotten this far, right? Look at this right here, Ava. Look, you see my leg right here, right? This is what I should do, but I can't move because he's got his frame and he's got my arm, right? So when I do this, he just keeps sliding sideways. And his arm frames me from coming up. I can't get this. Does that make sense? As long as he keeps moving out, like he's going to do a technical stand-up, right? Boom. As long as he comes out like a technical stand-up, we're going to end up in this position. Does that make sense? So without a partner, just so you can kind of see what's happening, right? Let's say the ball pulled me over, my partner pulled me over. I walk it all the way over. Boom. I come here. I'm holding on. Look at it. I'm holding on to the wrist. I frame here. But as I'm falling off the bottom leg, I scoop. You see, I scoop. This is still my frame. If I need to, look what I do, Ava. You see how I moved away one more time? Now my elbow comes here, and look, this should look very familiar to all of you guys. Right? Here's the mistake that most people make. They don't take the extra scoop, and they try to come up. Right? If he tries, no, I'll just show you. If he tries to come out without the scoop, it's not going to work. Right? We'll do the whole thing so you can see it, right? So I pull him this way. 
He changes over. Boom. This all looks good. But now look, if he doesn't, if he does not scoot away from me, just try to come up. He can't. I have the leverage. The second he scoots away, now he has a frame. You see? His frame wasn't working until he scooted away. And now, because he has my leg hooked, if he literally puts his weight on this elbow now and starts to come up like a technical so I'm your, uh, post on this leg right here, Coach. There you go, post on it. Yes, because you're going to scoop my leg and move this leg out. Oh, oh Coach says again, watch. Like this, Coach. Look, like this. Uh -huh. Okay. Right? So look, here's where we're at. He's got my arm, he's got me hooked. Boom, yep, he takes my leg with it. Yes, you see what it does? There you go. Right? When he keeps my leg hooked, it pulls it out. Most people start to go into the splits, <laughs> right? Especially with long-legged fellas like him. Does that better answer your question, Ava? Yes. Excellent. All right, let's get, um, we got about five minutes. So we're just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Here we go, guys. Let's go on three. One, two, three. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to watch Ava excel at this technique. Come on, Ava. Excel. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. I was like. <laughs> Good. All right, freeze, Ava, because he, you, you, Ava, you had already fallen to the correct side. Oh. <laughs> Ava, I got you. I got you. Yes. Technically, Ava, you went the wrong direction. <laughs> Okay, now I switch over. Yes, now go, Eva. Good, go. Perfect. Good, keep going now. Corkscrew frame. Good, right there. Yes, Eva. Perfect. Now control that arm. Yep. Come up on the leg, onto your knees. Yep, because he's going to come up. You're going to come up. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Yeah, that's good. So I, this is good. You can, you could ideally, right? You could ideally come right there, especially now. Most guys, most guys, Ava, at least now, if they don't know to, yes, definitely take it. That was very good. But ideally, they're going to start framing or bringing a knee in front of your hip. That's what they should do. At very least, you will get the pass, right? So that'll be good because you'll get a sweep and a pass. That's five points. If you can get the sweep in the mouth, that's great because that's six points. So perfect. If you can get it, take it. Yeah, by far. Let's watch brother do it now. All right, good. Over, nice. Take it over to the other side. Very good. Nice corkscrew up, corkscrew up, back flat. Yep. Frame with the right arm. Good. Ava opens, good. Scoop the leg. Start to come out. Yep. Grab the leg like a single leg. Grab the leg like a single leg. There you go. Drive, drive, right into the puppy. Extra points, extra points. <laughs> Good job, guys. Keep it up. I'm going to check these guys now. Good work, guys. Yeah. 
Make a stronger frame. Yeah, just struggling <laughs> all right i'm gonna take that as a kind of good thing i think i don't i don't really know <laughs> all right time for just a second so ava what is your question hon where are you struggling i keep forgetting which leg to grab with my leg oh, it's okay so do it one more time for me so i can see it please so much love from the puppy it's called puppy jitsu i love it all right, good. So we're right here. Yep, you're going to get pulled over. Nice. Boom. Yep. We're going to walk it all the way over. Excellent. Good. So right here, Ava, you see your leg that is still between his legs? That's the hooking leg. You're always, yeah, whatever leg, yes. That's the one you're going to hook with. You're going to scoot your hip out one more time, and then you're going to start coming up. Yes. Good. Hug the leg immediately. That close leg. Boom. Yep. Does that make sense? Oh, better. See? Exactly. He didn't throw the overhook. Take his back. Every time. Beautiful job. All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and oh, hold on just a second, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. We are out of time, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, Ava, thank you so much. For, uh, and again, remind me really, really quick. What's your name again, young man? Axel. Axel. I should remember this already. Uh, all right, thank you. Axel, thank you very much for being in class. I appreciate you helping Ava. Hopefully it was fun for you. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. And guys, really quick, if you didn't hear me say this earlier, guys, today is my dear Lana's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday. So guys, we're really excited. I can't wait for this silliness to finally be over so we can all actually share the mats and try to strangle each other proper uh, and go from there. Uh, but until then, guys, uh, stay on as many of these classes as you possibly can. It'll help. And if you guys need any questions answered, please feel free to reach out. Uh, I'll do my best. All right, guys, here we go. Feet are going to be together. Let's go ahead and bow out, guys. Feet together, hands at our sides, and bow. <laughs> Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.